What is up, you guys? Mental Hog back here for episode 9 of our FIFA 23 Liverpool career mode. In the last episode, we had some of the craziest games ever. We beat West Ham, a 10-man West Ham, 5-1 thrashing of PSG in the Champions League quarterfinals, and we stole a 1-0 win from Man City at home. We are back in the Premier League title race. It's so tight in the Premier League. The Champions League, I have no idea what we're going to do because one day we win 5-1, the next day it has to go to extra time against Milan. I don't know, man. I really don't know. This series is crazy. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you're excited for today's episode, keep the support coming down below, guys. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. I want to hit 2K by the end of the year, and uh, we're at about 1,200. I think we can do it, guys, so I just need your help with that. In the comments down below, transfers you'd like to see at Liverpool or other teams you'd like to see in the um, career modes being done with. <laughs> that was not English, but that's okay. Yeah, well, let's move on now. It's time to play the second leg against PSG. And you know what, guys? We have a 5-1 lead. I don't think we need to actually play this game. But, like, it's PSG in the Champions League. I should not play it. So we're going to do the highlights. I don't do this very often, so let's do it. What's nice about it is we actually got a 5-1 win away from home. So when we come home now to play this leg, we have a 5-1 lead. Like, there's just no way we can lose, right? Also, I need to turn the game down a little bit. We're a little loud. Let's play. And by play, I mean the highlights. Okay, we got a penalty kick. <laughs> and Kaylor Navas in goal today. Oh, they cannot figure it out, huh? Mo Salah, where do we want to go? To the left. Go. Sends them the wrong way. 6-1 on aggregate. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's over. Sorry, PSG. Do the worm. Yeah, why not, Salah? <laughs> cool. PSG solo run. Looks like Frimpong is defending Mbappe, who's just literally clean through on goal. What's this all about? Why is it my fullbacks? Where are my center backs? Vitinho, who's wearing the number nine? Huh? We defended that well. Okay. Crossing opportunity from the halfway line. Yep, that's how crossing opportunities work. For sure. Luis Diaz. Darwin Nunez. Oh, over the top maybe for Salah, but it didn't work. Second half. Liverpool counterattack. Off of like a, I don't know, a corner or something. Salah. Ah, bad touch. And that's all she wrote. A 1-0 win, 6-1 on aggregate. Yeah, this was pointless. Oh, I'm such an idiot. We just lost the Premier League because of this. I bet we did. I really bet we did. I decided to sim against Arsenal. That was... The dumbest idea in the world. Oh no, man, a 3-2 loss. Diogo Jota and Madueke score. We also rotated a little bit. We've got a bigger game coming right now. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. To be fair, guys, this is the reason why I simmed that game. This game against Man United seemed more important to me. And yeah, West Ham and City both won their games. Dang it, man. And City won another game. So now if we win this game, we'll be six points behind City again. I shot myself in the foot here, but this game is actually pretty big as well. Chelsea breathing down our back, United bringing breathing down our back as well. And who knows, man, City could have a hard run of games as well near the end here. So could West Ham. They could drop points and we could, you know, go top. So this is a, just as important as it was before, regardless of what happened in that last game. Let's play. Oh, wow. Look at this light show. I've never seen this before. Free game light show for the Derby game against Manchester United. Well, what can Ten Hag and his whimsical lads do against us today? We're about to find out. I don't remember what the last result against United was. That's why I have this book. Let's check. The last game we played against them was a 3-0 win. And we will be playing them again right after this in the FA Cup semifinals. I think I'll play that game too. As weird as that sounds, we're going to play United twice today. Ooh, Kanate, what a pass, huh? Darwin Nunez, overlap here from Frimpong. Inside to Salah. Back out wide to Frimpong. Why not? Got the space. Still have the ball here. Darwin Nunez is really wide for whatever reason. Trent. Fabinho. Goretzka. Looking for a run. I see one from Luis Diaz. He holds that really well. Back inside. Aggressively fast. Oh. That was close. De Gea made a big save. I'm just assuming that that's De Gea too. I'm not sure. It has to be, right? Frimpong. Oh, winning it off of Jaden Sancho. Yeah, get those twinkle toes away from me, bro. Probably smell. Rimpong. That was a nice pass. That was not a nice pass. Oh, what's this? What happened? Oh no, am I going to get a red card? Did I press the slide tackle button? I totally did, didn't I? I just slide tackled somebody. Who did I just get sent off? Who sent off? Oh my god, I just got Darwin Nunez sent off. What happened? I did I press X? Did I slide challenge somebody? Oh my god, I did. I did. I killed Casemiro. We're down to 10 men. Oh, jeez, man. What do I do? Do I just play strikerless? I, I guess I can, right? I, I Technically, I could. Yeah, Salah and Luis Diaz will know to, you know, pick up the slack. The striker. We'll just do that. We're down a man in the attack. What an idiot. Fabinho to Mo Salah. Salah to Goretzka. Oh, okay, Goretzka. Oh, 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 oh. That was good. That was a good little touch that he got on that. Yeah. 
You got to redirect the direction there? Redirect the direction, yes. That's what I'm saying. What's our midfield doing? I don't want our midfield to cover for him. I know what I'll do. I know how I'll fix this. Goretzka, you're going to stay back while attacking now, buddy. Sorry. Ronaldo! Oh, no Sui today, buddy. At least not yet. Oh, no. He gets the Sui now. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I got Darwin sent off, man. I shot myself in the foot with this Premier League. Why is Fred the captain? Lost the quick sim game to freaking Arsenal. Now we're going to lose to Man United. Ah, oh, this is just so terrible. Couldn't think of a worse way for the Premier League title to just collapse on us right now. I had kind of given up hope for it a while back, but when we beat West Ham and City, I was feeling myself a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much, obviously, because now I'm just messing it all up. I don't understand how, just because we go down to 10 men, everybody all of a sudden is just like changing their positions. No, you're still playing exactly where I told you to. We're just strikerless right now, guys. Come on. City has done this for years. We can play without a striker. How are we just letting Ronaldo have all this space, guys? Jesus Christ, it's half time. We're down 1 0, and we're down a man. So I guess I have to move Salah to actually striker and then tell him to stay central, get in behind, stay forward. Well, he doesn't have to stay central, but get in behind, stay forward. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to have to do. And then Trent as well. Stay. No, nah, he doesn't have to stay back, actually. Maybe he can actually get forward now a little bit more. All right, Salah is going to have to be our striker for the second half, like out and out. I thought he could do the job at right wing, just coming inside, but it's not going to actually work the way I thought it did. Who's Diaz? Come on, send Salah over the top. Lissandro Martinez, you're short, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. United, what are you doing? Salah scores! Oh yes, we're back in the game. Lissandro Martinez totally messed it up for them. Why is the ball spinning like that? I don't know, it's a bug. Yay, come on, fix this. I cannot believe what they just did. Ball in behind by Luis Diaz over the top. Easy. Oh no, 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 no! Why are we so bad? Why do we just let them go through and score a second right away? We suck, man. I was just calling us the best team in the world saying this is one of the most fun career modes. And now I'm so livid, bro. What's Liverpool doing? Come on, Robbo. Get this to Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, run with this, buddy. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Luis Diaz. Gotta beat De Gea. Do it. Beat De Gea. Beat De Gea. Oh, on the rebound, we do. Okay, it's, we're back in the game again. It's two all. What is happening today? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're most. We're we're literally our own worst enemy right now. Every time we score, we're just so bad we concede again. Don't do it again, please. Anthony. Anthony. Chill. 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 What am I doing? I'm not chilling. I'm not chilling. I'm I'm literally doing this to myself. I'm clipping the mic again. I need to turn down the game. What's happening, dude? I'm, it's so loud every time. Oh my god, dude. Well. If this is how it keeps going, if we concede every time we score, then we're just going to lose. Ever since we let in the first goal, it, then the, the result was sealed, I guess. No, 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 no. Oh, that rebound goal could have been on, but uh, whoever the heck hit that hit it terribly. No, what is this? Why would that be the pass? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh my god, I'm disgusted at this Liverpool team right now. Brent keeps it, keeps it still. Frimpong, no. Frimpong, come on, man. You've been so good for me all season. Don't just poop yourself now. This game has been so weird. Oh my god, this game has been so weird. Frimpong, gotta get this, gotta get this. Oh my god, we're hopeless. Oh, we're not actually hopeless. It's a goal kick. Bravo, come on. That's all the space we're giving us. Ronaldo, nope. Sit down. Oh, come on, Robbo. Trent, get this. Ah, it's going to be all she wrote. It's going to be all she wrote for us in the Premier League. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Oh, my God. Man. The quick sim against Arsenal, that killed me. The 3-2 loss against United, that double killed me. Where are we in the Premier League now? Fifth? We were literally about to be top, like, top of the Premier League, and now we're probably fifth. Oh, my God. This is a disaster. My god, we're literally fifth. We are literally fifth. We were second. Well, we weren't never actually second. We were third. Oh my god, now we're back in the just the fight for top four. We're definitely out of the title race now. We're nine points away from City with five games to play. Oh my god, man. Maybe we have to do a season two with Liverpool. I didn't want to have to do that, actually. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think? If we don't get 
we don't win the Premier League, is that like a total failure? I don't think so. But like, if we don't get top four, that is a total, total failure. Like 100% a failure. We better win the Champions League now. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, it's time to do it all again. Um, just a few days later, except this time at Wembley. We're going to go back against United. Oh, I don't want to have to do this. I really don't want to play this game. But uh, the second team is going out. And if we win this game, we could be in the FA Cup final. So let's get a revenge, I guess. Let's not get somebody sent off in the first 15 minutes, too. Is that like so much to ask? I just hate that at every step of the way this season, Liverpool have reminded me that they are, well, Liverpool. And they're super inconsistent. They will do so well. They'll beat your city. They'll beat West Ham. And then they'll lose two in a row to Arsenal and United. Like, ugh, they'll, they'll poop on PSG in the Champions League, too. And then just... Just, and then poop their own pants. They just poop everywhere. That's what Liverpool do. They poop everywhere. Can you tell apart the Liverpool fans and the United fans, by the way? I've never seen this much red in a stadium. But Wembley semifinals. This is exciting. Second team is out. Let's play. Oh, no. Oh, no. CR7 and Bruno Fernandes. The, the terrorism continues. Oh, these two, man. These two. Bruno and Ronaldo. These freaking Portuguese guys here at United are destroying me. Two games in a row, and now McTominay's the captain? They're just disrespecting me at this point. I swear to God, what is this all about? All right, Madueke, what can you do? Can you get it to Bobby? Oh my God, what a pass. Now Bobby Firmino. Bobby Firmino. Pass it back to Madueke. Ah, nothing on here. Malo Gusto. Back inside. Harvey Elliott. Oh, can't get the touch on the ball. Wasteful chance there. Wasted. Completely wasted chance. Martial and Ronaldo linking up now. I just want to win this game, man. I just want to trounce United now. I want to come back and win like 6-1. I want revenge on these guys. Also, I want to win the FA Cup since we can't win the freaking Prem anymore. I want to win everything else. Oh, no. Oh, come on. You're kidding me, right? Bruno Fernandes threw on goal again. Can we do something about this guy? I wish they had tactics like similar to Football Manager where you could choose to put a press on a player or show him on his weaker foot. Like, I wish there was a way to do things like that in this game because I would tell everybody to Mark Bruno. Like, all 11 of my players to Mark Bruno. Weston McKenney. An overlap from Simicast. I see it. It's good. It's good. Back inside. What the heck? Too many extra touches from everybody right now. Simicast. Yeah, now we don't have a good-looking chance at all. Madweke. How did you come all the way over here? Harvey Elliott. Chance for Malo Gusto to come inside here. Play across. Uh, cleared out by Man United. All right. Jota. What a pass. What a pass. Oh, Harvey Elliott gets the loose ball. Harvey Elliott. Shot saved by De Gea. You're kidding me. Why are you not playing your cup goalkeeper, Man United? What's going on? Medweke to play on this corner. I don't know how good he is at these, but that's fine. We can let him play it. Oh, good enough. Oh, oh my God. We scored. <laughs> we scored. Who was that? McKenney? Oh my God. Talk about the right place at the right time. Am I right? Oh, what a way for United to concede a goal, huh? Jesus Christmas. That sucks. Well, Weston McKinney, I think that's his first goal for me, at least when I'm controlling him here in the Liverpool shirt. So, yeah, nice job. Could that be the goal that starts the comeback for us to win a FA Cup? That's what I want to see now. Oh, my God, Henderson. Back inside, Matip. Clears it out. All right, I'll take that. Nobody else here, though. There's Diogo Jata now. Bobby Firmino. Back out wide for Diogo Jota, maybe. Danilo gets to it. Yeah, Danilo gets to it for sure. Madweke, big challenge put in there. Casemiro, that's not going to... There's no way you're giving them enough time for this attack. Ref, come on, bro. You'd blow the whistle if I had the ball here. Martial, they're going to score. They're going to score. They're going to score. They're going to score. You already know. You... There's a way to just know when that's going to happen. When the referee doesn't blow his whistle, that's how you know. They are going to run up the other end, and they are going to score. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Bruno Fernandes, apparently my kryptonite. I don't know. I guess he is. Oh my gosh, guys. In the second half, we ha surely we have to get back into this game. I don't understand how we're not able to, to beat this team. We already beat them once this... What is this? What is this, actually? Oh my god, Martial is through now. Cuevin Keller, completely open net. <gasps> hit the crossbar! Oh my god, they hit the crossbar! I'm still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh yes, does the work to get it back for us. Knows he made that mistake. Yogo Jata. I, I'm expecting you to be able to make some sort of a difference in this game. You're 88 rated, man. And you complain all the time that I don't play you. But you don't do a single freaking thing when I do play you. Literally nothing. You just sit there on the left wing and waste my space. Plays through Madweke now. Madweke. Oh my god, he's actually through. He's actually through. Madweke. Line up for the shot. Get it. 2-0. 
not 2-0. What am I saying? 2-all. Medweke scores a goal. That could be so crucial. But uh, we already know the formula is United score first, and then we score. And so they're going to score next, and then they're going to sit back, and we're not going to get a third goal. That's what's going to happen. That's what happened last game. It's bound to happen again this game, I guess, but it's okay. I'll keep the faith. You know what? I'll stop being so negative. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to sub off this waste of space, Diogo Jota. Luis Diaz, you're on the pitch. He has, like, pretty much full stamina, too, so could have started this game, but yeah, Jota, you're, you're off, bro. You're off. If we do a season two, he's out the door. Luis Diaz immediately. See? He comes off the bench and immediately wins the ball back and starts an attack that's going to see us come in front. What'd I tell you? Harvey Elliott gets us what could be a match winner and could be crucial for our season. Literally crucial. Harvey Elliott, you're goaded, dude. He's so good. And that all started with Luis Diaz, who I just brought off the bench. He's aggressive, he wins the ball back, and he starts the attack. It's that simple, guys. It really is. Medweke, yes. Taking a page out of Luis Diaz's book. That's exactly what I want you to do. Harvey Elliott plays through Luis Diaz. I would love to double our lead now, because then that would mean... Oh, we have a safety net. Uh, we don't have it. We don't have it. Matt Tip. Oh, what a pass for Simicast. That was nuts. We have to score off of that, right? We have to get a goal here. Oh, we almost do. We still almost do. Mudweke, come on. Come on, Mudweke. What is happening this game? Dude, FIFA is insane right now. <laughs> I love this gameplay. This team is making me so, like, angry and happy at the same time. But, man, the gameplay is so fun this year. He's still getting a foot in to defend. Don't you dare let Bruno Fernandez get this ball. Hat trick for Bruno Fernandez. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Don't you dare let him get the ball. And what happens? He gets the ball. Hat trick. Every single freaking time he touches the ball, he scores. He's a wizard. What's his? What is his? What is his deal? Oh my god, man. Are we going to extra time? We might be. I wish we scored a fourth. I really do. Come on, Malo Gusto. Runs at the back post. Luis Diaz. Get that to him. Okay, or don't. Let's be smart now. Simicass. I said let's be smart, and I lost the ball. Immediately. I swear this game is listening, and it knows when I need a win, and it decides... No. You can't have it. And now I'm sliding through Ronaldo. At this point, I'll slide through just about anyone. But Simicast is dead, so Robbo has to come on. And you know what? I'm going to bring off Weston McKenney for Goretzka. He's been great, don't get me wrong, but we need energy on the pitch. Look at this run from Malo Gusto. Oh, this is incredible. What do we have? We have Harvey Elliott. We have Goretzka off the bench. Scores the match winner in the 88th. What am I? I'm a genius. I'm a literal genius of substitutions. I'm the best gaffer in the world. It's me. Me. The best coach in the world. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's Pep. But hey, we're winning this game now all of a sudden. So let's turn on. Striker drop back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just defend. That's all I want to do now. Swear to God, if they equalize again right now and Bruno Fernandez scores another freaking goal, I'm going to I'm gonna quit this game. Milo Gusto, get this out. What is that pass? Can you just get it as far away as you can? Jesus Christ, this team just wants to frustrate me at every step of the way. But we do scrape across and get revenge on United. 4-3 win. And a Bruno Fernandez hat trick was not enough. Now, are we going to play West Brom or Man City in the final? I hope it's West Brom. Please, I need an easy game. Yeah, no, nah, it's not. It's not going to be West Brom. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be Man City in the FA Cup final. Which, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. Well, guys, it's FA Cup semifinal time. And uh, we have one upset in Juventus knocking out Real Madrid. Bayern Munich, of course, thrashed Frankfurt 7-1 on aggregate. Uh, we did the same to PSG, though, really. And Barcelona are through. So... Who are we up against in the semis? Do you guys think it's Bayern? Do you think it's Barca? Or do you think it's Juve? Because it's Juve. Honestly, I think that's the easiest draw we could have had in the semifinals of the Champions League. And there is one team from each nation left now. One English, one Italian, one Spanish, and one German. Hmm, cool. I forgot to do this with PSG before we played them, which was check what they're doing in the league. But I mean, come on, guys. We all know what they were doing in the league. They're winning. However, Juventus are not. They're actually seventh in their league and they're struggling to even get a European spot so this is going to be an interesting uh matchup here by the way Lazio on track to win the Serie A what's that all about but you know what doesn't matter we got to play Juve and uh they haven't been great at least not defensively so hopefully we can take advantage of that thankfully after you know all of these games we've been playing in the Premier League and uh in uh the, the FA Cup wow if I could remember that that'd be awesome our first team is actually fit and uh speaking of our first team Mohamed Salah up to a 92 overall that makes him the highest overall player in the game, I think. I don't know about Mbappe. Maybe he's tied with Mbappe, but he's growing. He doesn't have that potential, by the way. I don't know where that's coming from. So that's pretty awesome. And the Juventus team has Lucas Hernandez, 
Kyle Walker, I think, and Mikel Marino are new signings. Otherwise, they are pretty much the same team that you would expect to see, which is a pretty good one, to be honest with you. A really, really good team. So out we go to the Juventus Stadium. Isn't it called the Allianz Stadium? But uh, who cares? Let's play. The Allianz Stadium. I was right. We're in Turin. It's so nice to see Juventus back actually licensed in the game. I have not played as or against them since they've been put back in. So I don't even really remember what the stadium looks like. It's so cool. I can't believe I'm celebrating the fact that a team is re-licensed in the game too. After not being here for what, two, three years? So stupid. But let's play. And Dyke sees space for Frimpong early on here. We're just gonna just see what they're all about. I haven't played against anybody like Juventus in such a long time here. I say that, but we played against Milan. Oh, Goretzka threw on goal. Scores early. What is that? I just found that chance out of absolutely nowhere. This guy makes crazy runs, you know. Goretzka, really good box-to-box -box midfielder. That shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody, by the way, but I am just saying that he's incredible. Darwin Nunez is setting up so many goals, by the way. He, sh he should not be able to pass the ball this well, I swear. By the way, guys, this team, Juventus, is one I'm definitely interested in doing a career mode with at some point. When I do do one eventually, I'm going to make sure that I have the realism mod on because I want to have all of the licensed teams well, actually, rather, I, what I should say is I want to have all the teams licensed or in the game, right? So I don't want to be playing against Napoli FC. I want to be playing against Napoli. I don't want to be playing against Latium, you know? Or uh, what's the other one? Roma. Like, I want to play against the actual teams with the actual kits and stuff. So we'll definitely have that in there. That'll make it way more fun, I think. But I would love to play as Juve because they are struggling in real life. They've got a great team. I would love to use them. So it's going to be fun. I don't know when that's going to happen. It could be after the Liverpool career mode. You guys would have to let me know what you want to see. Because when I put out a vote for leagues you guys want to see career modes in, the Serie A really didn't do very well, but, you know, still would be fun, I think. Oh, no. Lahovic running through on goal. This is not good. Oh, Van Dyke. What? A, what? Van Dyke? Nah, man. You guys saw that. You guys saw that. That is not what you want to see at all. Paul Pogba scores back in the game. That is so frustrating to see. He put in a block, but it was the weakest thing I've ever seen. It went straight to Pogba. Luis Diaz, good ball for Darwin Nunez. Trying to control it. Totally struggling to, though. That was very difficult for him, apparently. He makes the easiest things look so hard. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about him, man. In FIFA and in real life, he just makes the game look so difficult. You know, Goretzka to Salah. Salah sees a decent opportunity here, but... Nunez wasn't making the run. I don't like that Salah cuts so central. I, t I do want him to cut inside, but like... He's basically just playing a striker, and then Darwin Nunez has nowhere to go. So he ends up way further wide than I want him to. Shoot, Darwin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's 2-1. Darwin Nunez gets himself on the score sheet now in Turin. This guy scores everywhere he goes. He's incredible. That's a hard angle to shoot from as well. On his weak foot, scores it. Can't ask for anything else. It's great. Chiesa is rapid, you know. Oh, wow. Frimpong can't even keep up with him. That's how fast he is. That's crazy because Frimpong keeps up with everybody. Maybe Kyle Walker is on the quest to prove that he's the fastest player in more than just the English League, which doesn't make any sense. The best physical players are there anyway, so probably goes to show that if he's the fastest player there, oh my god, that he should be the fastest player everywhere else. What's happening right now? What's happening right now? Can you guys just let me talk? Can you just let me do my talk show, please? Come on, Kanate. Oh, that was bad. We missed the ball. That's going to be at least a yellow. Please don't be a red. Please do not be a red card, ref. Please. It's a yellow. Okay. That was... I'll take that. I'll take that. That was bad. This free kick is in a rather dangerous position. Di Maria, is he going to shoot this or is he going to play it? Um, he's going to... I don't know even though what that was supposed to be. Oh, no. The step overs fooled me. Hogba! It's 2-2. Oh, God. This is going to be one of those fun ones. And you know what? I'm down. I'm down for the challenge. I can win. I know it. You know what? I want to give Diogo Jata a chance at center forward. I just want to see what he's all about. He's got great finishing, actually. Good dribbling. And his pace is okay enough, I think, for him to succeed in this role. I want to try him here. If he can't do this today, then I can't do it with him anymore. I'm going to sell him. I already kind of decided I want to do that. But yeah, it's going to happen even sooner. Joe Gomez. Also going to come on at center back because I don't want to risk Kanate um, being suspended for any amount of time. Changes made. Diogo Jata, the most success I've had with him is when he comes on at striker. So we'll see what this hat, what this is like. And Dyke 
Joe Gomez, hello, Joe Gomez, we just got chipped. We just got chipped. Where is Joe Gomez? I just brought him on, he's just not doing anything, and Di Maria chips the keeper, and now they are in front. We've been in front the whole time, and now they're in front. Gotta be kidding me, Joe Gomez. And you wanted to go on the plane to Qatar? I don't think so. You stay home. You watch clips of your terrible defending. I actually don't know if he got called up or not. I, I think he might have, to be honest with you. Speaking of called up, the World Cup is coming up, guys. So who is your team to watch? Who do you guys think is going to win the World Cup? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, Argentina. I think so. I think this is the chance. Oh, speaking of the chance, get us back in front. Or not in front. Get us level again, Diogo Jota. Okay, you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. He scored us a goal. That's about all I could ask of you. And uh, I'll take it. It was not an easy goal either. He had to do a lot of work after getting the ball to be able to put that in the back of the net. So that was well done. I'll, I'll give him that. Goretzka to Diogo Jota. There's one person that can handle being able to go wide and stuff. It's Jota. Oh, oh, and plays the pass to Salah. Sa Salah, why do you take so long to take the shot? Seriously, bro? Disappointed in you. What? That's not the pass I wanted. It's not at all the pass I wanted. Di Maria again. Rabo, very well done, but Di Maria keeps the ball. Mikel Marino, how can he get this inside? Paul Pogba looking to open up a shot. I don't think so, buddy. Oh, God. This is not looking good. What? <laughs> You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me, guys. You suck. You suck, Liverpool. Killing me today with the defense. Seriously, killing me. We've let in like 12 goals in four games. This is unbelievable. Figure it out at the back, guys. We were keeping clean sheets in the last episode. Today, not a chance. Not a chance. Goretzka can't play the ball in behind. You're joking me, right? Now I can't even touch the ball. I can't even touch it. Luis Diaz. Possibly our last chance of the game here. we we'll take our time, but like also, game's ending pretty soon here. Trent! Trent! Oh, the header's so weak. Chesney. Oh my god, man. The header's so weak. 4 3 in the first leg against Juventus. As it stands, we're going out of the Champions League. I don't think we've gone into a, a knockout tie behind yet so uh, I would say we can recover but I don't know man I don't trust this team right now they are letting me down so badly at the back so badly guys I'm extremely disappointed with how this episode went because we are just looking really really bad really bad we're playing spuds in the next episode there's five games left in the Premier League I mean there's no hope of a title at this point I just want to get top four I don't even know if that's possible so we'll see and we might get knocked out of the Champions League in the next episode as well so Oh, this season had the potential to be so good, but now it has the potential to be so, so bad. We can't close out games. That's our problem. We can't close them out. We can't shore up at the back. We can't score the killing goal that kills off a game sometimes. And uh, we're paying the price for that, guys. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. It's going to pretty much decide everything, really, for this season. So if we get knocked out by Juve, we're going to have to go again for season two because we're not winning the Premier League. We might win the FA Cup. I don't care about that competition. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you for episode... What episode is that going to be? Ten. Wow, ten episodes of Liverpool. I'll see you for that one tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and peace.